From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day, the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. But I am already saved. For the machine is immortal. Hello and welcome to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. If you're streaming lots into the mad, high lot of flows, this harbinger is spiffing level 27 boxes madman could strike into this 13 and all around neutral guy. Enable Burma Iron Man, yeah. Uh Burma Death? Sure. Uh new game. The 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. The Imperium of Man blames the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against sinners from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleets serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. Those are us. They are the deck priests of Mars, guardians and proclaimers of humanity's technology, ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past. Exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind in the name of the Machine God. They manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries, known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus shared their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Pure, even. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with the cohorts of Skitari troops. Troops, even. Yeah, I can't read. But that's fine. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against the new Dark Age. Or perhaps they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. Now I don't really know a lot about Fork the Quay for the Quay? No, for the K. Other than what I read when I was preparing to play uh, what was it, Rebel Trader? Or there was that's the the trader system within Yeah, that one. We were going to play it for natural ruckus, but never did. Oh well. Here we go. An echo in the Noosphere, Magus. An old transmission lost in the vault and recovered only now. Is it worthy of our attention? The Great Divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. We are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown but possible key to victory. An opportunity to research, perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. The transmission's origin is Silva Atenebris, part of Amissus Solaris, within Ultima Segmentum. Search the roll raiders, gather them. Four months later. Whoever finds this strange mission and, and follows me here, give thanks that you will see what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge, whatever lies beneath this world I fear, I hope I have broken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I found so much more. Terrors, yes! Threats to body and soul, but by the 
Upon the side I found such wonders. This is the last finished mission of Magus Rezek. He vanished while on an explorator mission to investigate Senna's structures on Silva de Nebris. Hypothesis, he found something. Our mission on this world is to ascertain any sinner's presence and if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. The opening of the Great Divide means we can call on no additional support from the Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit analysis, peace for sector, knowledge for mankind, plus plus plus, potential, plus plus plus, opportunity. An opportunity to destroy the works of the sinner's Saibola. Not appropriate them, and the miscarrant manuscript is verse 619. Where the enemy built, let it be made asunder, for to us it will be as a house of sand and knives. Magi, we are approaching the target coordinates. Nearby planet detected, lob storm and turtle level sprays, system showing my functions. Yeah, that's a lot of errors. I'm not gonna be able to read all of them, read all of them out loud. Mm, I love the way that it has like nice stained glass windows. It's one of the reasons why we would never have left let the Deadus Mechanicus upon our vessel if we had played Rebel Trader because we would have had some really nice pieces of mechanical uh, magic superiority on board. Nothing that we would want them Adeptus Mechanicus to know about because it may have been heresy. On some parts. Heresy for it to not be in the hands of the Deptus Mechanicus. Anyway, there she is. Temperate climate, atmosphere, standard, breathable, my secretary tube should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? As soon as we are in stable orbit, Magus. As administrative records indicate a single colony, St. Eckhart's Hope on the surface near the Sinus ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries, colony presumed failed. The Skitari will deploy to the surface near the ruins along with a team of deck priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them from the command drone on board. Several scholarators will serve as my eyes on the surface, me make landfall at once. Yes, Magus. I'll set up a forward command post. Resex transmission looked like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to an underground structure so your tech priests can begin the exploration. This room reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Here and there, fissures in the structure cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and oppressive as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. It is no less intimidating now, but instead of invoking a merciless guiding intelligence, it speaks only of decline and of death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs and something long dead begins to take on a facsimile of life. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb surface. Tomb structure. Then the sword of Omnissiah is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. Let secrets of this let secrets of this world equal none. The council caution matches Faustinus. Our purpose should be here to destroy the threat of alien, not to bask in its blasphemy. Aphorisms of the Logic Saints 791 in the presence of the Sinos lies the invisible 
Invisible Miasma of Corruption. Destruction is not possible from orbit, Vitex. The structure is too deeply buried, and Scavola have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can find from this place. But there might be good trinkets there. But it would be heresy. The exploratory unit of tech priests is in sight, doomed and ready to proceed. Magus, there is no telling what we will find. My men will hold the barometer in case of the unexpected. It will be folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a moral threat exists that the Skitari are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for my Skitari, but they are still far from a, the ascension that a tech priest affords. I agree, Sutomina. So I shall lead the mission in person from the command drone. Several scalarators shall be my eyes and ears on the ground. Omnisaya be praised for going in. The Adeptus Mechanicus are a curious breed. They explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. Within this tutorial you will have to explore the interface to discover what to do. Like a true tech priest you must experiment in order to learn. We will help you out this one time. Left mouse button also known as LMBG. Click on the adjacent room to move. Right. Yeah. These Signos hieroglyphs, I know of them. They are my undoers, necrons, mysterious, ill-researched, corruptive. This could be a rare sample of the necron language, Magus. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. This is a work of the alien, Magus. Codex Fulminatus 8312. Show caution and scorn in all things. Sometimes tech priests will feedback important information about what they encounter in a room. These situations will require you, our commander, to make decisions. There will be consequences, so choose wisely. Literally, this is the first time I've launched the game, so I do need to do the tutorial. Ahead is an obelisk-like object covered in what can only be described as hieroglyphic symbols. It almost reaches the tall ceiling of this chamber. You know, I lied. The game crashed twice on me before, so this is the third time I've launched the game, doesn't mean I've played any of it. Destroy the obelisk, it is monument to the alien and must fall. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna scrutinize it. We're detecting a massive energy spike from inside the tomb, something's happening in here, there, something huge. Noctilus source detected, also known as Blackstone, request collection immediate. As one of the tech priests needs to get a closer look at the obelisk, it seems to react to the cohort's presence. The obelisk splits open and a powerful, painful wave of exotic energy spills out inside the clustered formations of a rare looking material. Cool. That looks like an over there. Okay, no interactions here. We've got the Princess Jeremiah and Magus Munarius. I can't really look at them right now. That's fine. Let's go check that out. And we have a lot of servitors available. Necrons. Rezak didn't encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhuman. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of sinus constructs. Not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision. And coordination. Okay. Exercise extreme caution to not charge him too heedlessly, lest the trigger of the alien be our downfall. Follow the established competition protocols, it shall be done by the book. The aggressive stance of deck priests ensures they will not be outmaneuvered but risks their running head long into the fire of the enemy. Let's go with consistency. Combat will be joined according to the long established tenets of the Adept Mechanicus for good or ill. Sinus form detected. Confirmed. Kratos Coquitarius now function for synthetic forms. Overwhelming excitement. Finally, we can study this Necromorian weak spots detected. None. Concerning. I wonder about a simple um, 
the simple simplicity that talks is it must do not underestimate cost weaponry highly volatile this is true i've heard of our brothers and sisters of the mechanicals have lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of this sinus weapons approach with caution it is also double checking cogitators widely known that they will self repair reanimate or reconstruct themselves if left time to do so wounds that would instant kill the skitari are the equivalent to class c grace to necrons that's fun at the start of every fight you must decide the location of your units on the field of battle you can only place units in the highlighted squares click on a square to place a unit okay that's Apprentice Jeremiah. That's the Magus. Yeah, sure. Who goes first? They do. One damage. Move a unit left mouse button, click with the blue outline surrounding your unit, then you can confirm the movement. Okay. Get the cognition. You just moved your deck priest to a source of cognition points. CPs represent valuable information that the priests are harvesting. There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is moving your deck priest close to the source of CP. Oh god, I don't want to move my forces close to Childborn, that's bad. There are many other ways to collect CP, so look around to find out what they are. Cognition points are stored at the bottom of the screen in the cognition point cage. Cognition points are shared team resources, so plan ahead. Oh, I don't have enough condition points to shoot. Oh, I have to finish... ...doing something with fun before I can do another action? Okay, this is a server skull, the skull of a faithful servant of the only server committed to be a useful companion. Every tech priest has their own server skull. Those skulls are very helpful in combat and cognitive point collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle statistics. Now, I want to go get that mission from over there. We gathered enough cognition to be able to use a cognition powered weapon. Some weapons, like the Phosphor Serpenter, require CP to use, cognition to use. Look to the right side of each action to learn the cognition cost of that action. Let's give it a shot, will we? Read the statistic stats of this enemy, knowing your enemy stats will greatly increase your chances of success. Good. Server scouts reveal HP, physical armor, and any charm statistics. You then decide what weapon types, physical or energy, work best against this character. Killing Necrons isn't simple. Necrons are made of self repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call this reanimation protocol. When a Necron is in the reanimation protocol, they are unable to fight but will return to fighting conditions soon. Dealing any amount of damage to a Necron in this protocol state will destroy them indefinitely. That sounds handy. Okay. Well, you are not gonna be able to move anywhere, so I guess it's the apprentice's turn. The apprentice is not able to move close enough to that cognition as I was hoping it would be. But he can go and collect that. Which will allow us to shoot this guy. Excellent. You've not revealed the statistic for this target. As a result, the amount of damage that is unknown. Several scouts, specialized weapons and other skills that reveal the life of an enemy. You've used all possible actions for this unit and there's nothing more you can do this round. Press the end turn button at the bottom right of the action bar. Yeah, excellent. We cleared the threat. 
Oh, I've seen his life forms pushed. Right. That's good to know. Is that my service gun over there? That's how it does. It's the red rune. The guy. Hypothesis formulation, sarcophagi, coffin, spirit blaze, structure, purpose designation, to In the chambers ahead are several groups of structures like upright coffins of non-known material. Exterior observe your surroundings, carefully detailed picked grabs and readings may be key to success. In the chambers ahead, they're waking up. Excellent! The cohort examines the sarcophagi and note that each indeed contains a Necron war form with its heavily armored exterior. They're drawing power from somewhere. Was it here or is that there? After exploring the chamber for several minutes, the tile on the foot clicks, the sound of whirring energy builds up around your tubes, a quick omni specs scanner reveals your side surrounded on all sides. I see no life forms. Don't even get to choose a strategy this time. That's fine. Right. Hmm. I don't know if being any sort of cover actually does anything or not. Let's just start the battle. Oh, that bastard goes first. Free damage. Ouchies. That's quite rude. You've selected a weapon that is not in range of any target. Look for the weapon icon to appear in your desired target or critical the range of the weapon. I could just do that instead. That's fine. Oh, that was not enough to kill. Is there no cognition on this map? Uh, oh no, there's plenty of cognition over there. This is on a cooldown, right? Yeah. So if I move here and smash. Yeah, I'm using cognitive movement, which is which is what allows me to move more than my standard movement. When you enter melee combat, yeah, the ranged weapons are disabled. Cool. Now slam that bastard. This gives us more cognition. Excellent. Okay, and you're gonna move over there. Right to all of this cognition. And you're gonna shoot that guy. You're not gonna shoot that guy. You're gonna move, and then you're gonna shoot that guy. Once again, not quite enough to kill. Ah, because it has two armor against energy. If I checked that beforehand, that would have been wise. But I don't believe I've ever been known to be wise. Scarabs! Oh no! That's like an additional enemy. What are those? Opportunity, knowledge, gather, must obtain, acquired. Scarabs detected, source data surfacing. No life forms detected, area safe. Continue forward. Creators, verify your cogitators, then tell me what surfaced from Magus Rezax cogitators. 
Scarabs of an unknown Sinus race. Biology is synthetic, possible artificial intelligence, one specimen gathered, AI theory equals false. Personal recordings, weeks of studies show there are many variants of Scarab, each with their own role within the Sinus economy and architecture. Able to build and deconstruct anything they encounter, they are able to repair other units within the species with lightning speed. Be warned, they are deadly in large swarms. It appears the machine spirit, machine spirit is with us. We've been able to access some more of Rizek's data that we thought was corrupt. It must be due to us recording this scene as form that the machine spirit has blessed us with access to these cogitator records. It's unsure why he would lock this under a synthetic proximity encryption. At the start of every new round, there is cognition, cognition acquisition phase disposition. This phase is when cognition points are replenished at the current cognition reserves. That's a lot. Ooh. Cool. Yeah. Sure, can the servitor pick up cognition points? Should I bring in more than one? Likely not, but I have. In mechanicals there are two types of units to control tech priests and troops. Troops are your servants and cannon for they don't have access to as many weapons and skills as tech priests, however they are useful and should not be overlooked. Please attack this bastard. Yeah, that's that's some um, pretty good kind of photo. When servitors are hitting copper, tech priests take an interest, quickly noting down damage angles, projection speeds, and other useful competition ration to be used later against their enemies. Yes, that's good. This is represented by gaining a cognition. So it is a very useful or very useful unit in all your missions. And slap those bastards. When an enemy moves out of melee rage, providing your unit has a melee weapon, the enemy will trigger an opportunity attack. An opportunity attack gives your unit a free melee attack on an enemy. Each unit can only perform one opportunity attack per round. Handy. Right. Shoot that bastard. Right. Then move there. And slap this bastard. And no threat remaining. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. And also what I like to see. All Sinus life firms perished. Handy. Okay, this should be the final room. This might be the end of the tutorial phase. The symbol represents a location of significant importance to your mission. Entering these rooms brings you closer to the end of a mission. So this might not be the final room? No, it's... Negative signs of hostile forces seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirmed, permission authorized. Acknowledged, Megas. Protocol begins. What is primary focus, sire? Knowledge of necro forces, numbers, defenses, locations, any form of data, and how many remain on this rock. Secondary source, the purpose of this tomb. Why was it built? Interface devices all but eroded. There is one device that may hold answers, but necron data looms are incomprehensible to Imperium Architect. This might take a while. Dia, Magus, if I may take host of this priest, I could be of assistant. assistance. Approved. 
the spheric interface is complete, the heart of the cyber purpose, list of suggestions, megas plus deconstruct device plus activate switch mechanisms plus learn necrom language and return later, what will it be sire? Oh, we're so meticulous with your list, that I guess it's the engage and sinus mechanisms. Although I did this to do so, the promises of the reward are too great to ignore. Having to lower ourselves to the sinus learnings may be the only way to reach the architect we seek. Protocol updated. Confusion, atmospheric interference. Disconnect at once. Purged, reset. Atmospheric disconnect complete, possibly scrap code. We'll fragment now, fragmenting. Sire, we have unfamiliar religious to deal with, requesting Tominus input. Fragmenting. Explain. Aztec, Acquisitor, Skyvela, left suddenly my cogitators glitched, augmentations entering sporadic reaction protocols and have fried vital sign rejectories. Unclear of full damage report. Necron device is now activated, Sire. Fragmenting. 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 Frag. Remove yourself from the new sphere, Skyvola. Ready report. The doom is vacant, Sire. Reports from Skihari cohorts across the planet note that tremors vex their locals. We lost contact with the Skitari that were covering the entrance to this tomb. They can hear noises of approaching forces. Improved protection protocols, load weapons, and ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. I wake with the turning of aeons. Stars yet burn. Life yet blossoms. Is it truly time? Thrones of Mars, what was that? An omnilinguist transmission, Magus, it seems these mute constructs are not the only inhabitants of this structure. What is this? Flesh and steel combined. A mockery of both. Their every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Principal Sinus War from sighted. Exotic energy signatures past sensor rates. Designate Sinus Abominators. High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. What are your orders, Magus? These aren't. These don't start with the same letter. letter. The whole cohort reaches a large chamber beneath the first layer of the Sinus ruins. Bridges stretch from Balancing platforms barely holding themselves together by rubble force from the high walkways like breadcrumbs escaping into the abyss below. Continue the scene and return it to the case this metallic can intact so it can be revisited and studied. Annihilate the scene of branches fury. Fall back, get the tech priests out of there. We go to capture. If you insist, Magus, we will do our best, but I fear you might be overestimating our combat capacity. Insects. This galaxy is infested with vermin. Okay, how many enemies are we facing here? This is the final battle of the tutorial. Apply what you have learned so far and strive to obtain victory. The 41st millennium is a brutal place. You may lose this battle, but not the war. In Mechanicus, there are many alternate paths to discover. Uh, yeah. That's fine by me. Tell me about that guy. It has energy resistance. Which weapons does this guy have? Energy. Uh, move there.
That's gonna be a lot of points used if I just walk all the way over there. Just give it the best shot. Yeah, that's that's plenty enough. Right, can't head further than that. Oh. I sailed the void for a thousand years. I fought the war in heaven. What can you do to strike fear in one such as I? Right. That's a big boy. That's a really big boy. Uh, give me some permission. Is there anything you can shoot? No. No, there's not. Yeah, I'll bring in a couple of servitors. Maybe a few servitors too many. The necronary just attacked has been teleported away to somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, this means you have killed the target. Good. No, you can't get that. Cool. That's all he can do? Cool. Alrighty then. Nothing he can do right now. We just need to survive four rounds. Right, because my intention is to capture, wasn't it? Which does sound horribly cocky, doesn't it? Uh, just move there. That's good. I think we can set this guy off to hunt that one bastard down. And you can slap this guy below. Entrances here. Reveal the stats of this big boy. Just want to know what we're facing. 40 hit points. That's a couple. No resistances to this stat, though, but I don't have the mission for it. When my fleet sails once more, burning like you shall be strung from my prow. 
It's like... A ship. Ouch! That was a couple more damage points than I expected. Okay, you go and continue your attempt to hunt the boss over there. While you slap this bitch. But what does the machine spirit do on that boss guy? I thought I was safely ducked away in a corner. I was wrong. And this guy is the one with the nature gun. I can't go further into this in this direction. One damage. then oh it's five energy shield guess him is red I don't think I'm surviving this am I anything from there yeah wait does this steal energy damage no it doesn't oh it switches defenses each turn that's interesting that's really quite something isn't it So if their one has died, do not worry, troops are cannon for the design to protect your tech priests from enemy attacks. Without tech priests, your mission will fail. Well, one of them died. At this point... All weapons have sacred machine spirits within them. The more you use a weapon, the more charged it becomes. When a machine spirit is charged, you gain a buff to the deck of that weapon. Cool. Each weapon's machine spirit will charge at a different rate. This is shown underneath the weapon's icon. When you select the weapon, you will see the buffs of the weapon spirit within the tooltip. For this, it's plus two damage. Was quite a bit. Can you hear the trembling of the stars? Can you feel the whole galaxy's terror? I don't think he can fit past the guy. This, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, yeah, that's a tank mesh valve. Oh, we contained it! Excellent! The cohort successfully survived the Xenos life forms. 
Report, Capra. Well, we got the squad out alive, Magus. That has to count as a victory under the circumstances. We encountered the Necron war form of capability well beyond our expectations. Yes, I do not need to hold my emotional engrams. However, one better one is not a success. We will eventually face losses on this mission. When this happens, we must press on beyond our failures to reach success. And there's something else. The reanimation. The Necrons are waking up. Stalit and Resak stumbled on the tomb, but our arrival ex is accelerating the process. The obelisk may have been a form of intruder alarm. And now the sarcophagi in the tomb are starting to open. Then we no longer enjoy the luxury of time. Whatever we do on Silva Denebris, it must be done before the Necrons awaken completely. We do not know yet how far the tomb complex extends. We are under the gun then. Omnissiah preserve us if our duty is ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional cause, but I see they lack the logic to determine decision making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of Domino Science teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. Then what are your orders, Magus? The Skitari will explore the tomb chamber by chamber and maintain a foothold. My death priests will be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to the, the crisis. Time may be a factor, but our mission can only be achieved with the Turinus. Turinus? Turinus of a full deployment? I don't know how to pronounce the word. I shall mobilize the Skitari immediately, Magus. Opportunity detected, leader forms of Necrons rarely never observed. Potential of plus 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 intelligence on Necrons added to some total of human knowledge. Imperative, focus on acquiring artifacts intelligent data form. Hold your plasmum stangs, Kevola, you count the abandonment of our very souls. Life of Artmagus Porasis Appendix 9. Our only objective should be death to the alien or his works. All else is the deviance from the Omnissiah Creed. If intelligence equals if the intelligence gain equals true, then go to victory. Aphorism retrieval to face an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. Better in ignorance than in heresy. I return frustration at your conflict and choose to experience it. There will be bloodshed enough on Silver the Nebris without the Magi coming to blows. Magi. In our purpose, we are united. This is the will of the Messiah. And it shall be done. Yes, it shall be done. Good. Magus, the readings from the tomb are troubling. The Skitari have been monitoring the structure we uncovered, and what they have found gives me grave concern. Explain, Cynobiologist. The Necron construct forms are waking up. It seems Magus Resak accidentally began the process of our intrusion into the structure, hastened it. These Necron reanimation protocols are continuing in the tomb we entered, and from the energy spikes across the region, there are other structures yet to be uncovered. My plan for the exploration of Silo Denebris will locate these structures and contain the constructs within. That may not be enough, Magus. I have detected a repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols, and the rate the Necrons are awakening. They are speeding up. Can you be certain? The Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. The reanimation protocols continue to accelerate. They will fully awaken every Necron on this planet in 264 hours. Given the extent of the buried structures, that will constitute the Necron army beyond this mission's ability to contain. I see. Then our time here is limited. Strategic calculations indicate time spent deployed on missions will affect the overall number of missions we will be able to deploy. I will send Skitari scouting parties to discover other tombs at great forward positions for a high priority mission site. If the threat on Silver Denebris is not assessed and eliminated before full reanimation is reached, we will be forced to abandon the planet. Look at the top left corner of the screen. I can't see anything, that's where my media frame rate is. This is the Necron Awakening meter. This shows you how many Necron tombs have awakened on Silver Tenebris. Try and gather as much information and tech before reaching 100%. But I can see it's 0% right I can read that much from... I feel they are right. I feel fear too. 
that is part of my humanity I have chosen to retain, but I can currently it in my new robots and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. Wisely. It will not be easy. The Omnicide did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity present on this world will be eliminated or we shall not leave. Thus the equation is balanced. This is the will of the machine guard. A crop is checked to look at. This tomb is painted in a sickly green light that serves not to illuminate but only to make the shadows deeper. Every surface seems connected by filaments of alien light. The design here speaks of Xenostech heresy. Forbidden knowledge and a structure as alive and aware as anything inhabiting it. Early exploratory readings indicate the walls are made of substances not known to the rituals of metallurgy. Met metallurgy. It's something like that. Uh, abstract designs carved into the substance suggest unknown regions of space mapped according to some alien understanding. The weight of such blasphemy show, uh, not, doesn't show the steps, no, slows the steps of the first troops to enter here. The heresies of knowledge are deadly enough, but it seems unlikely that they are the only dangers here. Welcome to Cases Metallican, the Arc Mechanics class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium and is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. From here you will be able to customize your tech priests and prepare for the missions ahead. You can select missions from the character portraits on the left of the screen. Before we go on a mission we should inspect and equip our tech priests. Head over to the Coho tab. That's here. Welcome to the cohort quarters. Here you can see all the available tech priest and troop units currently unlocked. Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. Here you can see what skills each troop has available and all statistics for each unit. Tech priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Left mouse button the tech priest to begin customization. Alright, let's take a look. Welcome to the Tech Priest customization screen. There are many ways to customize a Tech Priest. You can change the weapons, body augments, backpack upgrades and more. You can upgrade your Tech Priest to the Discipline Spotter near the Tech Priest Priest for trade now. This is the Discipline screen from where here you can upgrade your Tech Priests using Blackstone. Good, I have some. Each discipline is focused on a different playstyle. Select one of the skills from one of the six discipline skill trees now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. And that's for when making troop units. Cool. Ooh. These are really interesting. Sure. In order to upgrade, you must have enough blackstone. When you rank up, you gain augment slots, skills, and body parts. Yeah. Okay. Having a diverse team is advised, however, the choice is your stick priest. Can be multidisciplinary, multi meaning you can learn skills from more than one discipline. Drag a weapon onto a slot with left mouse button, it will take up one of your tech priest's augment capacity slots to gain more uh, of those upgrade to tech priest. Hmm? Now, that goes here. That goes here. Can I have two? No. Right, the augment capacity is just the two. Gotcha. Awesome, well. You're good. Uh, let's look at Magus Jeremiah. What can we upgrade for you? Hmm. 
you just have the augment capacity for one right now. So let's keep the extra range. How expensive are these? Oh, these don't cost cognition for you. So these are just literally you can just shoot twice in a turn and be happy with it. Yeah, I'm, I can work with that. I am completely happy with that. That is very good for you. What does the machine spirit on this time? Plus one damage. That's good. Let's go to tech. This is a list of technologies collected so far. You can find tech such as weapons or items on missions or as a reward for completing missions. This is a collection of weapon blueprints you have found so far. These blueprints are known as standard template contract. Construct fragments or simply STC fragments. Okay. Here, STC for fragments for items that can be included into your backpack slots. Cool. Here are our troops and what levels they achieved so far. This list shows all the ship upgrades you've acquired so far. Uh, ship upgrades affect your repair efficiency between missions, the number of tech priests you can access, and so much more. These are your ca canticles, also known as canticles of the Messiah. These are prayers that can be used in game. Canticles are unlocked by completing the quests that are listed on each locked canticle. Once the quest for a canticle is complete, you're able to take the canticle on missions and use its credible abilities. Alright, that's that's cool. Well, I think it's time to call the episode here. And then we shall rush into our next mission next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye bye.